Hi, it's Paul from wave5trade.com. I wanted to give you another example from our stock signal service from today, the 9th of February. I'm going for shorts again, but our members get potential long and short trades on weekly, daily, and 60 minute time frames every day. Downloadable to uh, CSV files, spreadsheets, and they just click on the image there and download the file. So let's have a look at potential shorts I'm looking at for today. So on the spreadsheet for today, shorts on the 60 minute, there's not many, but there are some really good ones. And we had a good one yesterday, which I want to go over first, uh, and then we'll look at Cree for today. There are a lot more long setting up uh, on the daily time frame, but they need uh, some support to be found before we start to set them up. So let's have a look at the chart. So first of all, very quickly, this is PFF from yesterday's video. It did trigger at 36.96 and now we are in a profit making position. It tipped the one to one yesterday. So that's a 1% profit on the account balance for risking 1% from stop loss to entry. So it's well on its way to our fifth wave automated target down here. So let's go for a look at today's. So our chosen Cree. So those that are members, where I've isolated it on our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, this again, this is for the Ninja Trader version uh, that I'm using at the moment, but it is available on Think or Swim, TradeStation, and Multicharts. So this is a 60 minute chart for Cree. We've had the signal for the potential short. So we, as we can see from these highs here, we've had a wave one, a wave two. We've had a wave three, and then a wave four pullback into our automated zones here. These are our probability zones. The wave force found resistance in our amber zone, so there's an 80% probability it's going to go down and make a new wave 5 low into our automated target zone here, blue, around about $30. So let's have a look a little bit closer at the setup. One thing we do on our scanner membership is that we filter out um, these stocks, so you don't get thousands of stocks there what we do is we look for these oscillator pullbacks as you can see here at the bottom the oscillate the 535 oscillators pulled back between 90 and 140 the stochastic has crossed over in the overbought zone we also obviously the wave force pull back into our pullback zones there so let's have a look on how we're going to set this up for today so zooming in on here we closed quite well yesterday. The last 60 minute bar closed near the low. What we do, we look for entries below our special 6-4 moving average low, the red moving average low here on the chart. But we want to also take into consideration previous price action. So the low of yesterday was here. So what we want to do, so the low of yesterday was 32.27. So I want to make sure I'm below the 6.4 moving average low for today's bar position, but also below the low of yesterday. So a 32.24 entry for a short today is very sensible, very conservative. We've got the stop loss above the wave 4 high here. So the wave 4 high is 33.29, so we've got a 33.32 uh, stop loss. And then the risk to reward down to our automated target zone down here is one to two so there's a great risk to reward for this potential short on Cree so this is just another example I do a video each day of all the different signals that come out onto our wave 5 trade screen and membership but also I'm using the wave 5 trade Elliott wave indicator suite for ninja trader and ninja trader in this particular example so have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow